some Amir. Why did Freya spin your face? No. Speak of Balder. He claims nothing harms him. Aye, Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Mimir. Did I? What is the source of this power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mimir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. I hope he's not broken. Mimir, we're in the lake. Perfect. Dock us near the bridge. speak to the serpent. There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! Good. Now put my lips to the horn. That statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. All right, wish me luck. Uh, ooh. Ha, ha, ha. You envy me. I've still got it, lads. You remembers me. Why you? special gateway. Is that one of the people we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looks kind of mad for a moment. Now that, you thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there.
So when we get to the boat, we can either look for that special chisel now, or go exploring for a little while. I'm happy with whatever you want to do. Which way to the chisel? Keep going towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, the wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir have proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore but a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Mm, precisely. Enough was enough, and at last Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish later, lad. wondered what became of him. Wait, Fafnir? Like, Fafnir's storeroom, Fafnir? The very one. But Sindri said he was a dwarf. He was. And now he's a dragon. Funny how life works, isn't it? He's chained up. Perhaps we should keep an eye out for binding shrines and free the poor bastard. Hi, lads.
we'll show it to the dwarves. A dragon, Mimir. Oh, he's no friend of mine. This little scroat was a constant source of annoyance amongst Aesir and Vanir alike. Then why free him? Trust the recently liberated brother. No one deserves to be held captive like this. Even a greedy little dwarf come dragon. for stealing magical artifacts had something to do with it. Must have stolen the trinket from the wrong Vanir goddess. Remember you? I don't know, lad. A lot's changed since we last crossed paths. Legs.
voy a Will of Pagar. personality. Awful pass. favor to ask. Just a small favor, really. Do you remember the dagger you gave me? The dagger stabbed him to the reaver's back? His own son killed him? Yeah. I haven't forgotten that one. Well, I traced it to a group of reavers that operate out of the Northry stronghold. I'd wager that's where they took their haul from Fafnir's storeroom. Along with that whetstone that I could use to help you. Sindri, 
We found something. Armor piece? Oh, I hope it's a new armor piece. Oh. The travelers. Oh, disgusting. Mm. Smelly, covered in God knows how many little beasties, but gorgeous armor. Let's see if I can't make something more sanitary. Yes? Once you retrieve the whetstone, please take utmost care while handling it. It is a priceless relic, after all. Hey, Sindri. Have you met Mimir? Uh, if you mean the severed head that keeps blinking at me, please keep it away. There is no possible way that's hygienic. Oh, that's nice. Lovely to see you too, Sindri. Nob. Why? Is that a piece of my braided mistletoe arrow adorning your quiver strap? Oh, a little memento of your good pal, Sindri. I'm so terribly touched. So how come Brock's blue and you're not? Boy. Oh, it's fine. Very good question, actually. You see, my brother's not as careful as I am. In fact, he prefers to work with metals using his own bare hands. Ugh. No gloves. Come. Coming. this place. Ah, could it be? The Eight Thrones. Stop being coy, Head. Do you know this place or not? Ah, Mimir, the smartest man alive. I know many things. Well, whatever this place is, it looks important. To who? There is little of value here. story before. So, how did this advisor of Odin's try to end the long war? He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people, a selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. Gulfig. You were taken from this realm too early.
you who walks among the living. My beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace, yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sailor magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? How? Boy, I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Chisel is ahead past this gate. Here we go! Magic can help you. Maybe we should make find her. Bond. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to Mom again. If we keep an eye out, look at we... you, wish boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. <laughs> 